Hello beautiful Sag, I hope you enjoyed the speed shuffle for your convenience. Let's jump into this reading. Welcome everyone, my name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. We have your overall energy Sagittarius in this relationship reading is the disowned self, root girl. So it does look like there seem to be some adjustments that need to be made. Netcaster preparations come to fruition. So you are manifesting this love relationship to be more stable. I get dust devil moving out of stagnation. So if you've been hanging around here in this sort of stagnant energy, boom, crystal ball says it is gone. So let's see what we have for the clarifiers. The eight of coins energy for you and your beloved is all about Monday through Sunday, doing the work, getting to know each other, getting to know how to live together, work together, play together. The Tower card is clarifying that energy. So it looks like a sudden breakthrough and the relationship has come about because we saw stagnation here as we looked at the relationship with this hanged man, but now we have the Tower card. The Princess of Cups putting your heart and soul into the relationship. Very sweet energy, very tender, very sort of beginner energy with the Page of Cups. So why else do we have the Eight of Coins here for you? Why do we have the Eight of Coins here? The Lover's card. You have invested in each other. It looks as though for some of you, you may have left another relationship or another situation to come into this relationship to build a foundation. Why is a Tower card here for our beautiful Sagittarius? Why is a Tower card here? We have the beautiful Empress. Look at that. Making the choice. And we have the Empress here also. So we're seeing that the planet Venus, the planet of love, is coming in to really claim your hearts. Look at that with that lover's card. Making the choice for happiness. The Leo King. Why is the Leo King here in the recent past about your mutual energy? Oh, celebrating life. Becoming a very public couple. We get the Leo King. You're in the spotlight. You're starting to meet your person's friends. We see family. We see a lot of extended um, good times, celebrations together in the recent past. Currently, the energy is a Four of Cups, sort of taking things for granted. Temperance card. This is the two of you getting rest, you know, taking this energy of the root girl the disowned self and really giving yourself time to reconnect with each other. It looks like for some of you, you may have been in separation for a period of time. Um, do the cards due to the eight of cups and the hanged man. So I see as the two of you come out of this period of stagnation, we have the emperor card. Now we have the empress. Oh, Sagittarius, look at this. We have the Knight of Pentacles getting very grounded in this relationship. Your person, Sagittarius, is coming towards you. Very much willing to do the work, the day-to-day -day work, solving any problems. Very strong, grounded earth energy for the relationship. The Temperance card is how they see you. Sagittarius, there you are literally in your reading. Quite literally, they see you as a person who is very reasonable, who's very balanced, who's very happy, that they see you as very peaceful, very good looking there too. Look at that. We get the Eight of Pentacles again. So they see you as a person again who's willing to do the work, who really cares about them very deeply. The Eight of Cups is in the heart space of your person's energy, and that is walking away, being dissatisfied. The Sun card is clarifying the Eight of Cups. So what is that about? So we have the Justice card. Oh, so the energy that I'm getting here is one that says that your person had to leave another situation. And we see this tower card, one foundation coming down. And we get the sun card. They're headed in to see you. You are the sunshine. It's very clear because we have emperor energy here with the empress energy. 
And what we see is a justice card, which is, to me, very much the paperwork, the divorce, the separation coming in to make a commitment to you, uh, including, you know, a marriage license, prenuptial agreements. The justice card is the seventh house of Libra on the astrology wheel. And it looks as though the way forward for the two of you is to have a deep commitment, but we're seeing your person as having left, having made a choice between you and someone else, or just having made the choice of moving forward and building a foundation with you, because it looks as though there were some, prize, some surprises along the way, and the two of you are manifesting this beautiful energy. Hierophant is very traditional. The five of coins, though, speaks to the fact, once again, that it does look like there will be a marriage in the future, but it does look like there was also a divorce because we see somebody having lost some assets, maybe some of their money, um, but we definitely see your person still very optimistic about this relationship. You both have fire in your belly for it. What else? We have the Hermit card. Your person is searching for answers. Oops, a daisy. We have the Moon card. They seem to be um, in a period of being a little bit fearful of taking this leap of faith. We get the Queen of Swords energy. Your person is trying to stay very balanced, Sagittarius. They're looking at things from a different perspective. They don't want to rush too much. They want to take a moment you know, we get the root girl energy. We do see the disowned self, and I feel like that is very much a descriptor of somebody who's come out of a marriage that fell apart, that blew apart, and they have come, they're coming towards you. But it does speak to the fact that they're gathering their sense of serenity and self and getting ready to make this commitment to you. We have the energy of the Queen of Wands. You know, this could be a divorce from long ago also. You know, this could be, this doesn't have to be a breakup, you know, and a, well, you know what I mean. So I'm not going to go into it in detail here, but you know what I mean. So the, the Queen of Wands is this beautiful energy of hot passion. But we have the Four of Cups again. Again, some fatigue. Again, some adjustments that have to be made in this relationship. What else is hidden here? in the energy between you and your person. Ah, the healing card, the star card is Aquarius energy. It's being very enlightened. It really speaks to the fact that the two of you are healing after a difficult transition. The star card is hopes and dreams for love coming true for you at this time. Spirit is saying, enjoy love. Take it, take it and run. Take it and enjoy it. Embrace this beautiful Venus energy. Ten of Cups. Spirit is recommending and saying that this may be the person that you marry. This is a person that you've chosen. Look at that Ten of Cups, happily ever after. All based on pure love. So your person, you know, when we look at the Eight of Cups energy, we do know that somebody's walking to the Ten of Cups, and here it is. Spirit is saying it's waiting right here for you. Right there, Sagittarius, gorgeous. The Hanged Man energy is you looking at things from a different perspective as you exit this period of time. It is a timeless reading, but we see the Hanged Man here, the Hanged Man here, so both of you are really looking at everything for the long haul. Oh, Hierophant energy again. Very much the feeling of having similar beliefs, learning something, dedicating your lives to one another. So it really speaks to the fact that you, the two of you are going through this beautiful process of the strength card. Really coming together, being having fire in your belly, being loyal, no matter what courage it takes, no matter how lion-hearted you need to be, it is a beautiful energy of successful love and relationship, and it's catapulting yourselves out of stagnation into what appears to be a relationship for most of you that has been lingering, 
that you've been waiting to embrace, that you had to make some major changes to really have this relationship. You had to bring the tower down and somebody had to leave something else behind. So Sagittarius, congratulations. Wishes are fulfilled. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from.